Hi there. Now, I've already updated the diagram with the box plot for the male students, their test marks, plotted against the female's test marks. And in part D then, we've got to compare and contrast the marks of the male and the female students for two marks. So that suggests that you've got to give two comments. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So what would those comments be? Well, you can choose out of any of these. As I say, if it's worth two marks, two comments would be uh, OK. So if we were to look at the medians, OK, these values drawn by these two lines, you can see that the median for the females is much lower than that for the males. Or you could give a comment on the interquartile range. The interquartile range for the females, that's that width there, is much smaller than that of the males. Or you could look at the range. The range of female marks is less than that of the males. The range for the female marks was from here to here. Whereas for males, it was from this value here to this value here. Or finally, the skewness. Both male and female marks are positively skewed. As you can see, they're much more stretched out in this direction, OK, in both of these examples. We're really looking for this width here, Q3 minus Q2. It's much greater than Q2 minus Q1, this width here, in both these examples, indicating positive skew. So I hope that's given you an idea then, if you are wondering how to do that part.